A square pyramid of base 30 mm and altitude 60 mm rests on its base on HP and two sides of the base parallel to VP. It is cut by a plane bisecting the axis and inclined at 40 degree to the base. Draw the development of the lateral surfaces of the lower part of the cut pyramid. So here this is a problem involving a sectioning process. It is sectioned by a plane which is inclined at an angle of 40 degree to the base. So 40 degree to the base means 40 degree to the horizontal plane. And you are supposed to draw only the development of the lateral surface of the lower part of the cut pyramid. So as it is a problem involving the sectioning process, we have to draw the symbol front view and symbol top view using type B lines. So here I have already drawn the symbol front view. The outline is a triangle and the symbol top view the outline is a square and in this case i have done it as per the requirement of the question so two sides of the base they must be parallel to vp so here side ab and side dc they are parallel to the xy line so parallel to the xy line in the top view means parallel to vp so after drawing the symbol front view and symbol top view using type b lines next step is locate the section plane now we shall locate the section plane the section plane is bisecting the axis that is the section plane is passing through the midpoint of the axis and it is making an angle of 40 degree with respect to the base so 40 degree with respect to the base means 40 degree with respect to the horizontal plane or 40 degree with respect to the xy line in the front view so we shall draw the section plane in the front view with an angle of 40 degrees So inside the solid it is a continuous thick line, outside the solid it is a chain line, the ends of the section plane are thickened and I have written it as VT because as the section plane is in the front view and as it is inclined to the horizontal plane or inclined to the base at an angle of 40 degrees, by default it will be perpendicular to VP. So it will be having a meeting point with the vertical plane, so we will be having the vertical phase. So here I have written it as vertical trace, the inclination is 40 degree. After obtaining the section plane, the next step is mark the meeting points of the section plane with the various edges of the solid. So here the section plane is meeting edge P dash, A dash and P dash, D dash. Also it is meeting P dash, C dash and P dash, B dash. So let us mark this meeting point as 1 dash. So 1 dash is on P dash D dash. Next let us mark this meeting point as 2 dash and 2 dash is on P dash C dash. Now we shall mark the meeting point of the section plane with P dash B dash. So P dash B dash is on the other side. From the front view it is not visible. So we are having an invisible meeting point and that invisible meeting point is 3 dash. Likewise here we are having P dash A dash. So this is an edge on the rear side of the solid when you are observing it from the front. So we are having an invisible meeting point here. We shall mark it as 4 dash. So we have got 4 meeting points totally. Now we shall transfer 1, 2, 3, 4 to the top view. So 1 dash is on PA, so this point is 1, 2 is on PC, so this point is 2, 3 is on PB, so this point is 3, and 4 is on PA, so this point is 4. So after obtaining 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, we have to join 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1 using thick lines. After joining it using thick lines, we have to hatch the inside region using 45 degree hatching lines. Now we shall mark the remaining regions in the front view and remaining regions in the top view. So here we are having the section plane. So the region that is above the section plane will be removed and this portion that is below the section plane it is remaining. So we shall draw the remaining portions using thick lines. So here. 
P dash D dash is not completely remaining. It is only up to one dash. So one dash D dash is remaining. The base is completely remaining. Then P dash C dash is also not completely remaining. It is only up to two dash. So we shall join two dash and C dash. So this is the remaining region in the front view. Now we shall draw the remaining regions in the top view. So from 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 1, some portion is removed. So that is this portion. And the remaining portion is outside this hatching line. So the portions that are outside the hatching line is 1D, 4A, 3B, 2C, and the base edges. That is A, B, B, C, C, D, and D, A. Now we shall draw the development of the lateral surface of the lower part of the cut pyramid. So in this case it is specifically mentioned that we require only the development of the lateral surface. So here this square pyramid is actually having 4 plus 1, 5 faces. Out of them 4 are triangles and 1 is a square base. So we require to draw only the development of the lateral surface. That is. We require to draw only the development of the triangular faces. Here the base is not required and especially we require the remaining portion of the lateral surface after the sectioning process. So in order to draw the lateral surface what we require is the true length, the true length of a slanting edge. So from the front view and top view we are not able to get the true length of the slanting edge. So here all the slanting edges that is PD, PA, PB, PC, they are inclined to the XY line so that from the front view we won't be getting the true length of a slanting edge. Here we have to follow a procedure. We shall draw a reference line passing through point P which is parallel to the XY line and to this line we shall rotate PC up to this line. So we shall do it using compass. So you take the measurement PC and rotate it up to this reference line which is parallel to the XY line. Now let us mark this point as C1 and let us transfer C1 to the XY line. And let us mark this meeting point as C1 double dash and let us join C1 double dash and P dash using a thin line. So this line that is P dash C1 double dash will be giving us the true length of a generator. So we shall mark point P on the right hand side. We shall start the drawing of the development of the lateral surface. So initially we will be drawing the full development of the lateral surface and later on we will be tracing out what is remaining after the sectioning process. So we shall mark point P and let us measure the slanting edge true length, the true length of the slanting edge. So here it is approximately equal to some 64, you may be getting it as maybe there may be a variation of 1 mm. So it can be either 65 or 63. So whatever value you are getting you take it as such. Now we shall using this measurement that is 64 we shall draw a thin line from point P. Now with this distance as radius shall mark this point as point A. With 64 as radius and P as center we shall draw an arc here. Now we shall take the base edge length. Base edge length is 30 mm. So the true length of the base edge is 30 mm. We shall cut 4 arcs along this bigger one. Now we shall join P to this meeting point. Likewise, P to this meeting point, this one and this one also using thin lines. We are cutting 4 arcs because this is a square pyramid which is having 4 base edge. So we have 
written the names in the clockwise direction a b b c c d and for the time being let us assume that we are unfolding the solid with respect to this edge which is p a so this will be p a and this also will be p a and the rest of the points will be b c and d and we shall join a b b c c d and d a using thin lines this is the full development of the lateral surface we don't have the full development of the lateral surface because it is section some portion is sectioned off so in order to get the actual development after the sectioning process we have to transfer points 1 2 3 4 to this development to the respective edges of this development so how to transfer it to this development so here all the lines as you know they are having their true length so here we are having a true length line p dash c1 double dash so we have to transfer 1 2 3 4 to this true length slanting edge and from this true length slanting edge we have to take it to this development so we shall transfer points so we have transferred 1 dash and 4 dash to the true length generator we shall mark it as 1 double dash comma 4 double dash and we shall transfer 2 3 so here we have got a slight congestion so this point let us mark it somewhere here as 2 double dash comma 3 double dash so it is here now with the help of compass we shall transfer 1 double dash 4 double dash 2 double dash 3 double dash to this development so first we shall take p dash 1 double dash so 1 dash is on pd so here this is pd so this will be point 1 and we shall transfer 4 4 is also having the same measurement 4 is on pa so here we are having pa here also we are having pa so this point will be 4 and this point also will be 4 now we shall take p dash 2 double dash so this measurement is common to p dash 2 double dash and p dash 3 double dash also so where is 2 dash located 2 dash is located on p dash c dash so this is pc we shall mark so this point will be 2 and the same measurement is taken for 3 also where is 3 located 3 is located on pb so this is pb so this point is 3 now we have to join 4 1 1 2 2 3 3 4 using thick lines so the region that is above this line is actually removed and the remaining portion is this one so we have to darken the outline of the remaining portion so the remaining portion is 4a ab bc cd da and a4 and we shall dimension the development also so here this radius is taken from the front view which is p dash 4 double dash so that is why it is written as r is equal to p dash 4 double dash this r was drawn by taking measurement of p dash c1 double dash so that is why it is written here at it has r is equal to p dash c1 double dash so in this case this is the remaining lateral surface after the sectioning process we are not drawing the base which is a square because only the development of the lateral surface is asked